yo what's good world it's your boy geo man i'm back with another one y'all already know man this one right here is crazy man um crazy topic here crazy topic man i don't even know how to start this um let's start it the uh Amacrami and finch ceo and a host of others was just arrested for trafficking Yes, you heard that right, trafficking. They were trafficking people. And ain't no telling what else they was trafficking. I'm not going to tell y'all. Y'all got to check out this video. I'm not going to spoil it all from, you know, me telling y'all what's going on. Y'all missed the video. But this is big. I mean, everybody will have a and Finch, man. Um, maybe not me. You know, high school times, I was polo, lacoste type person and whatnot. But, yeah, man, this is crazy, man. Everybody's getting hit with these trafficking things, man. These charges is crazy, man. Everybody's going down. I guess with Cat Williams, he did say 2024 is up for everybody, man. But you would never think the CEO of Abercrombie and Finch, man. You know, that's that's like a casual type brand, like a you know, you would never think something like that. So ain't no telling, man. Who else is about to be coming down with this, man? And this is before the year ends, y'all. Like, this is crazy. Crazy news, man. Once again, crazy news. This is before the year ends. And so many people that's getting locked up off crazy things and demoting themselves from high positions because of things that they've been doing. And, I mean, if you look at it, man... Like I always say, man, we got to do better, man. Uh, some of these guys ain't going to be able to have a chance to do better because of the, the extent of things that they've been doing and causing harm and things like that under live and a lot of things that's going on. But I'm going to keep this one short and simple and sweet for y'all, man. I want y'all to check this out. Let me know what y'all think about this whole entire situation, man. And when y'all do, drop in the comments. Let's talk about this, man. Let's see what's going on with this whole thing, man. On y'all opinions, man. And uh, let's go from there, man. And uh, maybe that's something I will include on the live or something like that because it's a big ordeal. Um, and then while you at it, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Like me up, hype me up, man. Run it up, run it up, run it up, man. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, man. Appreciate all your love and support as always, man. And, you know, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep running it up, man. Keep moving forward, man. And networking, y'all family, y'all all family, man. Once y'all subscribe to me, man, y'all networking with me. We all family, man. And there's much love and respect, man. And we're going to support each other, man. You know, so... Check that out, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button. And uh, get back to me, man. And let's chat about it. And uh, till then, man, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace, love, happiness, man. Y'all stay safe. Stay warm. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay happy, my friends. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Breaking Diddy news, Diddy just outed and snitched on several people and the first one that's coming up is called Amber Crombie and Fitch. My question is, who's next to go down? The former CEO of clothing store Abercrombie and Fitch has been arrested on sex trafficking and interstate prostitution charges. Mike Jeffries was at the top of the company for over two decades. His arrest follows years of sexual misconduct and allegations made against him both in court and online. Oxide's Lisa Evers is live in downtown Brooklyn, where both federal and local authorities are set to hold a news conference at any moment right now. Lisa, I know Abercrombie was kind of the center of a controversial documentary not too long ago as well. Yes, uh, there was that controversial documentary. And Bianca, at this hour, the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District is holding a press conference in his conference room in the building you see right behind me, announcing these charges of sex trafficking and prostitution against at least three men who were top executives in the fashion industry. Aspiring male models were allegedly forced to have sex in order to get jobs. One of those arrested, we can confirm, is Mike Jeffries, the former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, the U.S. Attorney for 
for the Eastern District is providing details of these alleged crimes right now and how this all unfolded, how long it had been going on, and the scope of it, whether it was national or international. And this case comes after civil suits were filed by men claiming the abuse. Now, we're following this very closely for you, and we'll have full details on it on the Fox 5 News at 5. We're live in downtown Brooklyn outside the U.S. Attorney's Office. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Bianca, back to you. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Peace, the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New York. Thank you all for joining us today. With me today are James Dennehy, Assistant Director in Charge of the FBI's New York Field Office. We have Deputy Chief Carlos Ortiz, Commanding Officer of the NYPD Special Victims Unit. And we have my office's outstanding prosecution team, Aaron Reed, Megan Farrell, and Philip Pilmar. We're here today to announce the arrest and charging of three defendants. Former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, Michael Jeffries, Matthew Smith, and James Jacobson on charges of sex trafficking and engaging in interstate prostitution. Powerful individuals for too long have trafficked and abused for their own sexual pleasure young people with few resources in a dream, a dream of securing a successful career in fashion or entertainment. To anyone who thinks they can exploit and coerce others by using the so-called casting couch system, this case should serve as a warning. Prepare to trade that couch for a bed in federal prison. The message from today's prosecution is clear. Sexually exploiting vulnerable human beings is a crime. In doing so, by dangling dreams of a future in fashion or modeling or any other business is no different. My office and our law enforcement partners will always prioritize standing up for victims, no matter their gender and no matter how powerful the wrongdoers think they are. The BBC understands that the former CEO of fashion giant Abercrombie & Fitch, Mike Jeffries, and his British partner Matthew Smith are facing criminal charges of sex trafficking. They had previously denied allegations of wrongdoing. The FBI opened an investigation last year after the BBC revealed claims that Mike Jeffries and his partner sexually exploited and abused men at events that they hosted in their New York residences and hotels around the world. Mike Jeffries, the former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, is currently under investigation as part of a federal sex trafficking case. He was arrested in October 2024, alongside his longtime partner, Matthew Smith, and a recruiter named James Jacobson. The allegations stem from claims by multiple men who say they were exploited or coerced into sexual encounters at extravagant parties hosted by Jeffries and Smith between 2009 and 2015. These events reportedly took place across various cities, including London, Paris, and Venice. The investigation follows accusations of abusive behavior, with some victims stating they were manipulated or forced into sexual acts in exchange for potential modeling opportunities or other promises. The case has drawn significant attention, given Jeffrey's previous role in transforming Abercrombie and Fitch into a major fashion brand though he stepped down in 2014 amidst declining sales and prior controversies about the company's exclusionary image. Jeffries, Smith, and Jacobson face serious charges, including sex trafficking and interstate prostitution, with further legal proceedings expected in the coming months. Jeffries, along with his life partner Matthew Smith, stood before a federal judge today, both charged with the same 16 crimes, one count of human trafficking and 15 counts of interstate prostitution. Any comments on the charges? Michael Jeffries, the former Abercrombie & Fitch CEO, is out of jail on a $10 million bond, a judge ordering the 80-year-old to house arrest at his Palm Beach apartment on Royal Palm Way. His partner and alleged conspirator, Matthew Smith, was also taken into federal custody and is now on his way to New York. Smith is a citizen of the UK and a permanent resident of the United States. Prosecutors say the couple used the power of the Abercrombie name, pressuring aspiring models into sex acts for money, using drugs and alcohol. They caused the men to believe that attending these sex events could yield modeling opportunities with Abercrombie or otherwise benefit their careers. 
Prosecutors say there are 15 victims with, quote, dozens more that could come forward. This interstate prostitution venture encompassed dozens and dozens of men. And I encourage anyone with information about this case, including anyone who was a victim of the defendant's alleged crimes, to contact the FBI. Investigators say the couple is also accused of hiring a third man, James Jacobson, to recruit the alleged victims. Jacobson engaged in, quote, tryouts with men across the world where he would typically pay them to engage in sex acts with him. If convicted, they could both face life in prison for the trafficking charge and an additional 20 years in prison for each of those 15 charges of interstate prostitution. Reporting in West Palm Beach, I'm Michael Hoffman, WPTV News. The former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, Mike Jeffries, who built the teen clothing brand in part on racy and at times sexually suggestive advertising, stands accused of multiple federal charges for sex trafficking and interstate prostitution. Call me a I'm running this city, send the cops, DA, the feds to come get me. If cats want to leave me for dead, you're coming with me. Y'all, I think Diddy's snitching. Look at this. Now, it's some breaking news right now. Get this. The former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, Mike Jeffries, is arrested in connection to a sex trafficking case. Prosecutors have been investigating allegations that Jeffries ran a sex trafficking operation involving young men. Jeffries was arrested this morning in Florida as part of an investigation led by federal prosecutors in New York. Is he going to be on a superseding indictment? Child, who else is about to be on this thing? Abercrombie? Will you say your name? Diddy said, I'm going to just tell on one so y'all will stop playing with me. You better put him underneath the jail. I don't care who he tells on. Don't give him less time because he's spoiling. This is the $30 million mansion of former Abercrombie CEO Mike Jeffries, located in the picturesque watermill. The 80-year-old has been accused of using power, wealth, and influence to exploit male models for his desires during his decade-long tenure at the fashion giant, and his perversions allegedly led to the abuse of more than 100 men. The mansion spans 15,000 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The backyard features a luxurious pool and a beautifully landscaped garden. Inside, the mansion includes a grand living room, a state-of-the-art kitchen, a formal dining room, a library, a gym, and a wine cellar. Each room is meticulously designed to blend comfort and elegance. Mike Jeffries, once a prominent figure in the fashion industry, has faced significant legal troubles following his arrest. His controversial leadership style and the recent allegations have kept Jeffries faces 16 it, counts of sex trafficking and interstate prostitution. Two of Jeffries associates, Matthew Smith and James Jacobson, have also been charged in connection with this case. This comes after years, a year after the clothing company, Jeffries and Smith, were sued for allegedly turning a blind eye to sexual misconduct. Now, the attorney representing victims from the class action lawsuit released a statement saying in part, quote, this arrest is a huge step on the path to justice for the many young men who were exploited and abused by Jeffries and Smith, who used Abercrombie to pull off one of the most organized sex trafficking operations 
in United States history, end quote. We reached out to Abercrombie and Fitch and the company says it does not have a comment on this. Jeffries and Smith are expected to face a judge today in West Palm Beach. There's two that's already down. There's a raid that's about to go on. And on top of that, it's somebody that has something to do with an affidavit that I have already released. I am telling you, we know that it's coming. I knew it was coming when I made sure there were sworn and legal affidavits already ready six to eight months ago. I'm telling you right now that they're about to grab them and they're about to announce it. When they announce it, we got a problem. We got a big problem. Because there's... There's ways that this is about to go. I think a lot of you guys are, 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 are everybody's like, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. You're, we're ready until it's happening. And then everybody's like, well, I wasn't ready. Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of that. There's no, there's no other way to get ready. There's no other way to prepare. There's no protocol for what's about to happen. The world is going to crumble when they see this next arrest. In the meantime, there's going to be deaths, distractions, and fires to hide evidence. Watch for it, ask questions, demand answers. There is a third- Now the former CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch and, and two others have been arrested as part of a criminal sex trafficking investigation by the FBI. Mike Jeffries was accused in civil lawsuits filed in 2023 of sexually exploiting young men at parties he held with his partner. Jeffries is credited with turning Abercrombie and Fitch into a fashion powerhouse, but has come under criticism in the past few years on accusations of discrimination and over-sexualizing male models. Jeffrey's attorney says he will respond to the allegations after the indictment is unsealed and when appropriate. ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer is joining me now for more on this. Brian, great to see you. We're expecting to hear more at a press conference around noon Eastern today. But what developments in the investigation do you think led to this arrest so many years later? Absolutely. But first and foremost, as a disclosure, I have to say that I did work for Amber Crombie's sister uh, company, Hollister Co., as uh, a model, both in terms of uh, providing service for like finding clothes. I was one of the people standing outside with less clothes than you usually see me now, um, interviewing people and talking to people come in. And also I modeled for the bag. So um, I was not a part of this in any way, shape or form, just kind of given that disclosure. But in terms of coming next, uh, I think what's next is we're going to potentially see uh, what the charges are, likely sex trafficking, see how many victims there are. And this could be, I think, very similar to what we saw with Sean Combs and the SDN why the former CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch has been arrested on federal charges related to sex trafficking. Mike Jeffries was the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch from 1992 to 2014, but he has faced a lot of controversy most recently as he was the focus of a documentary about the company called The Abercrombie Guys: The Dark Side of Cool, which covered the many lawsuits alleging discriminatory hiring practices filed against the company under Jeffries' leadership. Now, several sources are saying that he has been arrested on charges related to sex, but the charges have not officially been announced yet. Also being charged is Jeffrey's partner, Matthew Smith, as an alleged middleman. A 2023 BBC investigation alleged that Jeffries and Smith were part of a, quote, highly organized network that involved a middleman who found young men to participate in sex events. The BBC reported that eight men who said they attended these alleged events claimed they were exploited or abused. Attorneys for Jeffries and Smith have previously denied any wrongdoing, but now they have both been arrested on charges related to sex. So more will certainly be coming out, but there was definitely something going on and they definitely uncovered some evidence that led to these arrests. Mr. Jeffries, anything you'd like to say? We're of uh, CBS News. No, anything no, you'd like no, to no, say? Thank you. Mr. Jeffries, are the allegations true? No, no comment. Thank you. Are you ready? <laughs>